All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video with the uh, Bowl Gamer. Now, before you guys actually freak out about the title of this video, actually, I just wanted to mark a disclaimer right here is that currently right now, I don't have COVID or symptoms of COVID at all. I, I feel fine. I feel okay. I am in good health currently right now. I don't feel sick. I don't often get sick, but I'm going to be mentioning a, pretty much a story to pretty much explaining how I potentially may have gotten COVID-19, actually. It's kind of a weird situation that happened with me, you know, to start off this month. Like, it's been a crazy month for me, honestly, man. But uh, I'm going to be mentioning the story of how I potentially got COVID-19. Now, this is kind of an overdue video, actually. I should have made this video, like, a few weeks ago, actually. But I'm making it right now because... So uh. I, I don't know, I just I, I guess I really didn't have the time to make a video like this, but we're doing it in this one today for you guys. So, but uh, let's it has to go all the way back to this. Was, this happened during late July. This goes all the way back to when I decided to get the vaccine for COVID. It was on a Wednesday that I got it. I decided, you know what, I'm going to get the vaccine, you know, do my part, protect everyone from pre preventing anyone from getting sick from the virus that we, you people know about, COVID, and to protect my own self so I don't get sick either. So doing my part, I, I got my COVID shot from the pharmacy that I, it's not too far from where I'm at. Uh, I got the Moderna vaccine for anyone that's wondering, that's a two shot one. So I got my first dose from it on that day and during that day, later that day, I was starting to feel, uh, I was getting a sore arm, and then it carried on the next day, which I was able to handle. It wasn't too bad, honestly, as long as I really didn't press on that arm to feel the pain. My, I overall was okay for the, the day of, and then the day after I got the vaccine, I felt okay. But then on the next day after that, I, it was literally 48 hours after I got the vaccine for the, the COVID vaccine, I suddenly started feeling a bit of symptoms or side effects. I feel like these were more symptoms than side effects, I feel. And the side of, and the, these symptoms were pretty much chest pain. Now, the chest pain was kind of the worst thing during, during this time I was sick, which I will actually carry in carry on and later in this video but uh but pretty much i was getting chest pain fever sore throat i was getting to this was slowly starting to kick in for me the these uh symptoms that i was apparently getting and then the next day after that i suddenly was getting really sick and i was just i was just i was very miserable i was tired i was i suddenly got a little bit of a little bit of a fever chest pain was there a uh, bit of a sore throat i didn't really have a cough during this time i was sick but the weekend was just it, it was it was the worst man like i it was one of the more more miserable weekends i've ever had in a while health wise like i was i was so i was so sick during that time but pretty much uh that was kind of what was going on with me for for that time now, I was not believing that I got COVID or anything during that time. You know, I was believing that the vaccine was kind of the thing that was like kicking in for me and giving me the this illness maybe because this kind of relates to the past for me when, yeah, I don't know if you guys get still get this. I don't get this anymore, but getting the flu shot, you know, I used to, used to a while back would get the flu shot, but then... The flu shot would give me side effects. I would get actual side effects from the flu shot. So I decided I no longer try to get the flu shot because, you know, it just, it just makes me sick regardless, you know, but you know, these, you know, even if you do get side effects from these vaccines, like COVID vaccine or the flu, it's supposed to actually be a good thing to the point where it's supposed to work where it's actually working like the vaccine's working it's not like oh no it gave me the it gave me the illness no i, I mean that's kind of what they say but you know maybe that's true but it's not giving you the illness it's giving you you know 
you know, your body's trying to fight it off from it and, you know, how it can handle it. That's kind of what it does. So that's kind of what I thought was happening with me. Like, like this was, this was it was just a weird time because I, I really feel that I, I really feel like I got co- just freaking, you know, from the vaccine. I really thought these side effects were from the vaccine, but maybe it's different. Now, here's where it gets to the point where I decided to where where I believe that I don't think the vaccine was the reason why I got sick. I believe during that week, um, like a week after, let's I'm going to say like a week after I got the vaccine shot. I suddenly lost my taste and smell during that time. And even currently, as of today, I am still kind of my taste and smell is still kind of off. It's slowly coming back, I feel. Like, I can smell some things, some things I still can't smell. Things, there's things I can taste, some things I can't, like I used to. But um, I did some research on that, and turns out, you know, the vaccine is does not, you know, okay, let me, okay, I gotta explain this a lot better. So, pretty much, if you lose your taste or smell, it it's not from the vaccine, practically, from the COVID vaccine. Like, literally, when I look it up on Google, that's the first thing that comes out, where the vaccine cannot make you lose your taste and smell, which I lost that during that time, and I guess you could say I still have lost that. It says, it, it's. they say it takes like weeks, months for your taste and smell to actually come back. So for me, I'm going to have to wait, I'm gonna have to wait till that comes back. But but this, is, this kind of started to give me belief that, that I potentially may have gotten COVID-19 actually. I never thought it was because it, it was just a weird time. Like you guys can't blame me or anything for, you know believing i guess you could say that it was from the vaccine it's not like i was out here trying to get people sick or anything or whatsoever that wasn't it was not my intention or anything but it was kind of the fact that you know if you do get the vaccine and you get side effects which i was believing you're not technically contagious so but but here's the thing though here there's another thing i want to mention my mother got covid19 not to like it was on a tuesday Monday was kind of the day where my side effects or my symptoms, I'm going to call it now, were kind of going away, you know, but my mother, uh, tested for COVID and did test positive for COVID-19. So, uh, that kind of sucked. Uh, she had to stay home for 10 days, which it is because, uh, she was feeling sick. She had a cough. I did not have a cough when I when I was sick. I had more of a sore throat. COVID kind of affects people differently, and it's kind of true. But one of my family members did test positive. Now, the thing is, is that I did, I think during the time when I was really, really sick, I was in most contact with my father. But, it, but he is vaccinated, though, so maybe that's the reason why. Maybe he didn't get sick at all. But my mother was is is not vaccinated and got sick. Now I was with around other people. I actually went to wor- work one uh one of those days that I wasn't feeling the best. But as I as I know and see, I really haven't got anyone else sick sick, which I wasn't I wasn't trying to get anybody sick or anything. It's not like, okay, I'm gonna get you guys all sick now because I don't feel like you know. I wasn't doing that. Come on, now I'm not. I'm not. I don't. I, I wasn't even trying to be dumb or anything. Now, if I would have, if I wouldn't have gotten the vaccine and I got sick, then it'd be different. I think. Then I probably would definitely believe that. Okay, there's some. There's a virus that got me, and uh, it wasn't from. I don't know where I got it from. So my beliefs is that I did get COVID nineteen somewhere. I don't know where, but. I didn't test myself. I should have possibly should have done that, but I didn't test myself. But seeing how my mother tested positive makes me believe that I probably at some point did test positive. We both lost our taste and smell. 
So that's kind of given me the belief that I think COVID got me and my mother. So kind of a crazy time. Like as of right now, COVID, I guess you could say, is still affecting me in some ways. Seeing how I don't have taste or smell. At, le at least it's iffy right now. It's not really at where it used to be. But I'm probably have to wait months till that comes back. As they say, it, take, it can take months for that kind of stuff to come back if you do get COVID. But we'll see what happens. But but yeah, that was a crazy, it was just kind of a crazy, it was just a weird time for me around that time. Like, I don't know, man. Like, I don't know. There's a lot of things that I have questions about that I still yet to find answers about when it comes to what happened with me. And just COVID-19 in general, because there's a lot of things out there on the internet. Most of it's true, some of it's not, but I'm not going to mention some of the things about it. But but uh, I'm okay now. I Things are okay right now for me. I don't, there's nobody as I know is sick currently right now with the virus that is affecting lives right now. Affected me. As I can't, like, I can't officially claim that I got COVID because I didn't test for COVID or anything. Now, if I would have and I did test positive, then I would have proof of it. But this gives me the sign that I possibly did get COVID-19. So, but, uh, yeah, man, uh, I don't really have anything else I want to mention in this video. But um, I just wanted to bring this video out to you guys to... Let you guys know that I'm feeling okay. I remember back months ago, I or probably a year ago by now, I did mention that I had a quarantine because of COVID. During that was around during the time when it was pre pretty much pre precautions for COVID. Nowadays, it's kind of like getting back to reality with COVID nineteen, trying to live with it. I mean, people are vaccinated, so if you're vaccinated, you should not have an issue with restrictions. You should be able to live your life like we did before COVID. So, at least that's there. Well, COVID, I wish was not there, of course. So, but, uh, yeah, guys, it's just a, it was just a crazy, crazy moment for me. Um, I remember YouTuber that uh, I have actually known ever since around the time that I actually started YouTube. He was previously known as Wild Blaze, but now is known as It's Greg right now on YouTube. Still does Minecraft like me. And uh, he did test positive for COVID-19 like around the time I wasn't feeling the best actually. So I did mention in that one video where I kind of just mentioned to you guys, you know, uh, how I was feeling because I got the vaccine and whatever. So, but uh, he he must be doing well now because I've seen him starting to upload videos now. So, but um, yeah, man, it was just a, what a crazy time it was, man. Like, let me know down in the comments down below if you guys have gotten side effects from the vaccine. If you guys have, let me know in the comments down below. Or if you guys gotten COVID, let me know what you guys, uh, let me know what happened during that time when you guys got COVID. Or whatever. Because uh, cause there's people out there that I know that got in COVID. And potentially me. And it's suddenly out there started affected my life at some point. It's crazy. But, but anyway guys, I'm going to wrap up this video here. So yeah man, but just want to mention again. I'm I'm not I'm I'm not positive for COVID nineteen as of right now or anything. If I if I start getting side effect or symptoms again, or whatever like this, I'm gonna definitely test myself for next time. Even if I get like a vaccine to like protect me or whatever, I'm gonna still test myself regardless because you never know. Because I didn't know I didn't know during that time. But once my taste and smell started fading fading away and I really didn't have it. That kind of changed the subject for me a little bit. And it's like, you may have gotten COVID. And I think that's kind of what happened with me. But, uh, yeah, man. I'm going to wrap up this video here, though. So, yeah, tell me if you guys have gotten COVID-19 at some point in your life. Let me hear your stories. But I want to thank you guys for to, uh, watching this video, man. And uh hope you guys are doing well and uh, in good health like I am. I'm doing 
good health for you guys. Um, if anything happens with me or whatever when it comes to my health, that is kind of serious and like it was before, like when I was feeling sick. I'll let you guys know on that. I'll update you guys so that you guys are aware because it will affect the channel. Kind of why I didn't really upload or stream as much around that time. So if you guys are wondering, that's why I make that update video. But um, I don't want to drag this video out too long. Thank you guys for tuning into the video. And uh, drop a like, comment down below, subscribe new to the channel. Thank you guys for the support you guys have been showing on this channel, man. I do appreciate it. I may say that a lot, but I really do appreciate it. But, uh, but yeah, man, hope you guys are staying safe. Hope you guys are in good health. Like I am currently right now. I'm, I'm feel okay. I can't wait for, you know, the fall, man. Honestly, I, I want to plan out something for like the end of the summer for my own life. Something for the end of the summer, because then we get to fall, which is my favorite season of the year. I can't wait for that. So. But yeah, thank once again, thank you guys for watching this video. And I will see you guys later with another video. Peace out.